hello guys welcome back to coding cafe my name is Mohammed Ali and in this video we are going to download and install the Microsoft SQL Server management studio so just go to Google and type here Microsoft SQL Server 2014 type as it is which I type here okay which I wrote here so then press enter and when you press enter uh, here you can see this link okay just click on that and don't worry I will also provide this link in the description down below so you can simply click on that and it will redirect you here to this page and here uh, first of all here you can see this download button so you can simply click on this download button and from here now you can choose the bit okay whatever your oper operating system bit version is so in my case my uh, operating system is 64 bit so I will simply select this one which is Express 64 bit SQL Express X64 okay so I tick this and then click next and here you can see the download appears so I will download it inside my downloads folder so if I show you then here you can see it is downloading now and now you can go back to this page and now press back okay go to the I mean press on this back button and here now again click on this download button and then uncheck this one and now you can simply scroll a little bit and here we have this uh, management studio you can see this one management studio 64 bit SQL management so you can simply tick this and then click next so now I will download also this one okay so click on download and it will be now both of these files will be downloaded in my downloads folder so you have to wait for it it will took for 10 to 12 minutes depending upon on your internet speed so once you download both of these files it will uh, be in your uh, folder I mean where you download these two files with the first one is the SQL EXPR which I show you okay which is SQL Express and the second one is the SQL management studio so I download both of these files successfully now what we are gonna do is first of all click on this first one which is SQL Express double click on that click yes and here you can just click OK now here you can see it is extracting this folder and basically this folder contains the uh, setup file so then we will first inst install this one which is SQL Express and once we install this then we will move to the SQL Management Studio so once it is completed this will appear which is new SQL Server and this second one okay and you can also uh, close this this is basically a setup file from this folder so you can go to this folder and here you can simply click on this setup double click on that and this uh, this uh, same window will appear now again so you can see this window appear here again okay you can simply click on this first option which is new SQL server standalone inst installation click on that so here all you're gonna need is to click this I accept the lessons terms click next now click next now here you can see uh, these are the files okay so make sure that all of these are checked and then click next and now here you can see it says default instance and name instance so you can simply click on this default instance which is M MS SQL server click next and now click next again and now from here here you can see it says windows authentication mode and mix mode which is basically the SQL server authentication so click on that and here you can type your for password whatever your password is so you can type any password but make sure to remember this password so whenever you open the SQL server after installation for the operations then uh, it will ask you to write your password so make sure to remember this password okay for the later use 
so I will type my password in your case you can type any password you want but make sure to remember that now click next so now it will took uh, two or three minutes to uh, install this SQL server so please be patient and wait for it So you can see that it is uh, the first one is installed successfully okay here you can see this all are installed successfully now you can simply click on this close button and also close this one so now go back and now uh, we have to uh, install this SQL management studio so double click on that click OK so it will uh, extract the set of files for this SQL management studio here here you can see this folder so we have to wait for it So you can see this uh, window will appear which says new SQL server standalone installation. So you can close it from here just I want to show you guys that it is basically the set of files for the SQL management studio. So double click on that and go to that folder and here you can see this set of file. Double click on that and the same window will appear now. You can see this okay. So now we have to just install this management studio and then we will be able to uh, work with the SQL management studio so click on this first one so now here it says uh, perform a new installation and th then this one which is add feature so you can simply uh, click this one which is perform a new installation of SQL Server 2014 click next click ex I accept the license terms click next and make sure to check all these uh, okay click uh, client tools client tools backwards and all these things okay so click next now it will uh, take five to six minutes so be patient and wait for it you can see that it is uh, downloaded uh, installed successfully here you can see this all are ticked mark ticked okay so it means that it is installed successfully now you can just close this close this one and also close this folder and so now come here and search for SQL management studio which is this one SQL server 2014 management studio click on that and here we go Microsoft SQL Server 2014 congratulations it is working fine now here you can see we have the server type which is database engine okay and this is the server name so let's say if uh, by default if it is not appear here then you can simply browse click on this browse for more and from here you can see this database engine which is basically this one desktop in your case maybe this name is different so you can just select this and this is basically our server name and from here you can see this SQL Server authentication click on that and here all you're gonna need is to type the login which is SA just type SA which means system administration and then here you can just type the password which we uh, which you guys wrote during the installation process I hope you remember your password okay so just type that password here 
and now click on this connect button and here we go here we are login to the uh, Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio so from here you can see this is the database okay I mean from here you can create your own database and also you can create table inside that databases on which we will start working uh, from the next video tutorial and let's say for example uh, if you uh, forgot your password then you can just uh, come here and search for again I mean again open this app okay so if you forget your password then you can simply uh, select this one which is Windows authentication so select this Windows authentication and then click connect then it will open the uh, Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio using the Windows authentication process okay and here you can see we are logged here successfully so yeah that's it for this video and as I told you from the next video tutorial we will start working on it and we will connect it uh, to the Visual Studio and we will create some uh, amazing apps so yeah that's it for this video and see you guys in the next video bye for now